Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. As they say, the highly revered monarch, Onyo Bife, or by the editor, Gusi, has moved on. And he now has a new wife, a new queen, in the palace. This is nine months after Naomi announced that they were separated on Instagram. Even though she had made that announcement on Instagram, so many people were hoping that this couple were going to reconciliate, as Naomi is the mother of the crown prince. The owner of Ife has only one son. Naomi had given birth to last year. In fact, it was just some days after his celebration that she shared that separation note on Instagram. And this year, 2022, it has been filled with controversies. In fact, some days before that wedding ceremony, Naomi had come on social media platforms to cry out for help. It insinuated that she was being persecuted by the only herself and her brother. Her sister also commented on that post on Instagram, but then she has since deleted this post from her Instagram. Many people have been asking questions, what is the Onyo Bife's estranged wife up to? How has she been taking this whole thing? Well, firstly, immediately after the wedding ceremony to the new woman, she shared that she had gotten a PhD degree. While some Nigerians were celebrating with her, some other people were also admonishing her on this. And in fact, a man from her state had claimed that she should rather go back to school and first get a BSc degree, according to him. And for a while now, she had slowed down activities on social media platforms. But then today, she gave a new update, being October 1st, the Independence Day of Nigeria. And she shared a short clip of herself dancing joyfully. And according to her, this is how her October 1st is going. She's in love and she's dancing joyfully, happily. She was well dressed in a native attire and carrying a purse in what looked like a city room. All smiley for the camera with a portrait at the back. Well, the message with this clip is I'm doing well. I'm fine. And of course, many Nigerians have been reacting to this short clip. Some people are praising her beauty. She's looking all beautiful. Saying that she's homegrown and she stands out. Other people are asking that she's humble and beautiful. What, what else does the only want? And some few are saying that this is the only queen that will stand. She's the only Onyobife's wife that they know. There are many similar reactions like this. For the only as a successful and powerful man, he has received admiration from women of all ages, tribes with different shapes, and of course, with different shapes and of course, different complexion. Over the course of his adulthood, he has been romantically involved with several women. The Oni's first known romantic relationship dates back to the early 1990s when he was still a teenager. At that time, he was romantically involved with a woman whose name is Olatubo Omolara. His affair with this woman gave him his first daughter. Omolara gave birth to their daughter, Princess Adiola Ogumusi. In May 1994, their relationship, however, wouldn't go beyond their co-parenting, and it has remained the same ever since then. Then in 2008, he took the bold step when he decided that it was time to settle down. He got married to his first wife, Adibu Kolambo Mbata. Their marriage was all rosy, as it was reported. However, that union did not produce any child. And they officially got divorced. In October 2016, shortly after his coronation, the exit of Adibukola ushered in Zinab, Ruyola Utitiobana, who is from Edo State. Ruyola was subsequently crowned as the Olori of the Ife Empire. The marriage was said to be ordained. However, about one and a half years into the marriage, couple went their separate ways. It was all messy over social media platforms. We don't really know exactly what happened, what resulted in that short divorce. What resulted to that divorce is still a mystery to this day. But then Rurala has moved on as she is now married to a Saudi prince and she also welcomed the daughter recently. It took him over one year to find another woman. And that was when he called prophetess Naomi Moenike Shilekwala, Naomi Samundo states. She was 25 years old when they got married and she was said to be a prophetess minister. Of course, this sparked controversies. A prophet is getting married to the Onyo Bife. As you know, even though he says that he's a Christian, but the throne requires him to be a traditionalist. Naomi is the founder of a church known as N Herald, a church ministry based in Akure in Ondo State. Naomi shares similar characteristics 
with our predecessor in terms of appearance our spirituality christian belief it was gathered that naomi had dropped out of the university aaua where she supposedly had a call to minister and she went on to set up her own ministry the congregation was said to have grown over the years during that time many people argue that it is forbidden for a christian to get married to someone who is not a christian a traditionalist hence the incoming queen had a lot of condemnation in some quarters for being a religious hypocrite this was what the that who according to them had abandoned gold for power and wealth. A condemnation against him when preachers of his online showed the prophetess going through certain traditional rituals at the Onis Palace in Elif. A lot of Nigerians were shocked that the prophetess was partaking in traditional beliefs. However, things seemed to be going on smoothly until, shockingly, Naomi announced that they were separated on Instagram. As I mentioned, you just took a new wife and her name is Miriam Anako, Ajibola Anako. She's from Ogi State, Debira Group. She's an oil and gas executive with Nest Oil. There were also talks of him going to go and pay for another wedding with another woman just the second day after he took Miriam. And this is the first time the only will be taking two wives at once. His known children are Princess Ajiola Ogunusi and Prince Tadi Nikawu Adesoji. Adiremi Ogunusi. But it has been said that he also has some other children, Princess Adebukumi and Princess Adewamiwa, even though he has not officially or publicly acknowledged these other kids. It said that their mothers reside at the palace with him at Ilife. Dioni Obadeye Yenita Ogunusi is the 51st and the current Anu He is the traditional ruler slash monarch of the Yoruba kingdom. Of Ilefe. He ascended the throne in 2015, succeeding the deceased Oba Okwande Shijuade, who was the 50th Oni of Ife. He is from the ruling house of Geise, one of the four royal families of the house of Oromia. His grandfather was Prince Joseph Alabaju Adiwale Ogunusi, whose grandfather was Oba Araiba or Oni Araiba, who was the 44th Oni of Ife and ruled from 1878. To 1880. So through him, he is a direct descendant of Oni Abedebede, who was a descendant of Oni Geisi, the progenitor of the Geisi Royal House, and thus a descendant of Oni Lajodugu. Lajodugu was the son of Oni Lajamisa, who was the grandson of the legendary founder of the Oyo Empire, Armenia. Armenia was a son or grandson of the first Oni of Ife, Odudua. Thus, the current Oni is a descendant of Odudua, one of the early rulers of Ife. So we've come to the end of this episode where Naomi Shilo Kuala updates her millions of fans on social media platforms or what she has been up to. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.